Guys, welcome to Salon Privé 2023, our second year consecutively running here at Blenheim Palace, bringing some extraordinary cars to the show. So if you guys follow me, we'll have a quick look and see what we've got at our stand this year. Starting to the left of me over here, we've got this stunning Rosso Corsa Ferrari Enzo, which uh, some of you may have seen before, but it is the one-off straight pipe from Marinello factory with the signature from Michael Schumacher himself on the dashboard. If you come over to this side, you can then see the Lexus LFA, which is a UK supplied right-hand drive car, up for sale at 1.02 million and in stunning condition, probably better than it was from factory because the condition of this is unlike any other LFA you can see online, or in fact, anything that would have hit any auction site or anything else close to it. But um, definitely been the star of the show so far, something quite unique, not so classic. However, it's definitely heading down to the stage of becoming a modern classic for sure. Just beside me over here has to be one of the understated stars of the show. It's the Mercedes 280 SL Pagoda. One of the cheaper cars we've got on the stand with it only being priced at £134,900. However, it's a car that we've seen gradually rise in the appreciating value of what it is. Um, it's a car that we've sold a couple of times and it's now just come back into stock. So finished in light gold with the dark burgundy red leather trim interior. It is the California spec, so it's the two seater with a soft top underneath as well. And uh, happy to say that it's just got under 40,000 miles. So it's a stunning UK supplied um, example and has to be one of the nicest ones that the market's seen. Moving on, we've now got this, which is personally one of my favorite cars over here. It's the Porsche 964 Carrera RS Lightweight. So it still has the original 2.7 liter engine in the manual gearbox with the factory roll cage and bucket seats. Once again, it's a car that we know quite well. We've also sold this in the past and have just brought it back into stock and uh, finishing guards red with the original chrome alloys. This is not going to be hanging around for very long. Just a bit of an insight, this car has probably appreciated by £100,000 in the space of three years. So before this really jumps up to the heights of what it can really achieve, we do think that whoever buys this and locks it up for the next five years is really going to be on to a winner. And then we come onto this, which has to be something very unusual. And unfortunately, isn't something that we can say we know quite well because it's never been in stock. It is a Lola T70, a Le Mans racing car from 1969 which has been converted to a road legal example. So it's had the engine, which has been upgraded now to a Chevy seven litre V8 with a straight pipe uh, exhaust. It's now also been upgraded with the road adhering legalities that are required for a car like this to be driven, including the number plates on the front and the back, the suspension to bear the UK roads. And then you've also got a manual gearbox in there as well with all the correct specification needed to drive this on a UK road. Interesting enough as well as coming away from the mechanics of this, this is a car that was actually owned by Steve McQueen. So once again, probably not as exciting as some of the other cars in the day-to-day -day supercar life. However, this is definitely a collector's item and it is valued at the moment by an auction house at 1.2 million pounds. So a very, very unique bit of kit over here. But that's a quick roundup on the cars that we brought here at 2023. And in general, it's a lovely sunny day and hopefully we'll see you here again.